Hello guys and welcome to my 15th video tutorial on PHP and this video I'm going to show you how to use the include and the require and first of all I want you guys to go to your zamp slash uh, htdocs directory here this is where you should have your uh, .php files that uh, you used in uh, the video tutorials I have two different files here and for this video I want you guys to uh, have two different files PHP files okay so if you have only one uh, just build uh, another new file and I'm gonna open vars.php with notepad okay and I also have here the test.php so we have now uh, two different PHP files each one uh, doesn't have any code in it and in vars.php let's type echo and you can type whatever string you want this is the included code okay now I'm gonna show you how to execute whatever code is in vars.php but in this file okay so we will run test.php in the browser but the file or the code that we will run or execute is the code that is in vars.php okay so to do this we have to type include parentheses and inside parentheses we type the name of the file where uh, the code that we want to run uh, is okay which is vars.php so basically we are uh, loading into this file the code that is in vars.php let's save this and now let's open this in the browser to see if this works okay so we're gonna run test.php and we should see output uh, this string this is the included code okay let's refresh and there it is this is the included code okay and we are running test.php uh, it's pretty simple uh, you can also use the require okay that basically does the same thing okay you see refresh and it's the same output okay you can use either require okay or include the only difference is that include if you have an error include will show you a different error message in your browser than the require okay that's the only difference but basically they do the same okay so uh, you can also use for example the require once or you can use also the include once and as the name says this basically what it does is whenever you include or requ require a file uh, you will only uh, it will only load the code one time okay if you if you try to uh, include the same file again it will not include because you already did the require once or the include once okay so as the name says it requires once the the file vars php or it includes once the vars php okay uh, so basically that's it that's how um, require and include works and if you guys have uh, any question just send me a message or you can uh, uh, ask your um, you can ask whatever you want in the comment section below okay so see you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe bye